Zircon MT6 scans through a half foot of concrete to locate embedded metal before your drill bit does. MT6 locates both ferrous and non-ferrous metal through any non-metallic surface, such as concrete or drywall. MT6 works better and is easier to use than some competing products that sell for much more. Sometimes MT6 eliminates the need to hire an x-ray crew, and some owners have said MT6 probably paid for itself the first day or two on the job by reducing the cost of broken bits and blades. Here's how to use it. A large plus sign appears as you move towards a metal target. And a minus sign appears when you're moving away from the target. Mark where the plus sign turns to minus. Reverse direction and again mark where the plus sign turns to minus. The target is located between the two marks. Now notice the depth bars. They increase as the unit moves closer to the target and depth bars decrease when moving away from the metal target. The most depth bars are directly over the target. Target depth in inches is indicated left of the depth bars. Target depth in centimeters is located to the right of the depth bars. The display reports whether the target found is magnetic or non-magnetic by displaying a magnet for ferrous metal like rebar or a magnet with a line through it for non-ferrous metal like copper plumbing. MT6 can be turned on with or without sound. When target depth matters, recalibrate the unit on the surface being scanned, but away from metal targets. Find an area that shows no depth bars or the least amount of depth bars. Press the recalibration button and the unit will calibrate to the specific magnetic properties of the concrete being scanned and give the most accurate depth Recalibrating can also reduce signal noise. Plus sign and increasing depth bars mean we are getting closer to the target. Minus sign and decreasing depth bars means we are moving away from the target. After finding a target, next run along the target and look for constant depth bars. As we run along the target, we see constant depth bars indicating this target is long and skinny like rebar or pipe because when moving away from the target, the depth bars go away. If you run across a piece of scrap metal, MT6 will find it, but you won't mistake it for rebar or pipe because you cannot trace its length using the depth bars. Now, let's demonstrate MT6 locating rebar through 5 inches of concrete. Plus sign and increasing depth bars means we are getting closer to the target. Minus sign and decreasing depth bars means we are moving away from the target. Notice the depth bars are indicating 5 inches. Like other Zircon tools, MT6 eliminates guesswork and rework, saves time and money, and it's easy to use.